Hello, pre-calculus students, and welcome to the lesson on properties of limits. Now, prior to this, we've talked a lot about derivatives and limits of that, of uh, certain values if something goes for something else. Now, the derivative is a one specific type of limit, and it's very useful to us, but there's a lot of other limits that uh, we need to learn how to do as well. So in this, this video here and the series of videos that, can, that follow from this, the goal is to get good at the mechanics of this. When we deal with math mathematics, there is a conceptual side of it and there is a mechanical side of it. And these videos are really good for you to practice the mechanical side, which is just practicing the algebra, getting good at just solving some very abstract problems here without, you know, there isn't a practical application yet. But we will apply it um, at a later time. So you can see from the, the, the theme here, this is limits by graphing. So I'm going to take a, my graphing calculator here, make sure that it's in radian mode. Not that it really matters, but just so that we, are, we go with the standard here. So we're going to graph sine of x divided by x. Now, one thing I want to note here is that we cannot use direct substitution. Direct substitution uh, does not work because you end up with a division by zero. So we'll use a graph. I'll start out with a standard window. And it looks like there's a little bit of curving that happens there near the x-axis. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and actually use zoom fit. And let's see what that does for me. And let's see, let's zoom out a little bit here. So we're gonna go Let's find the x scale, let's find the y scale. I'm gonna go maybe from negative one to positive one in increments of a quarter. And so there you have it. I'm gonna transfer this graph here onto my, my paper. Now, one thing that's important to note here, what happens if you put in zero for x? You can see here, if we type in zero for x, y is actually undefined. So this point here at the top, this is actually a hole. You can see it goes down and up and down like that. It goes down and up and down. So this is actually a hole here. However, the limit still exists. As x gets closer to zero, this expression here gets closer to one. So we can still say that the limit as x approaches zero of sine of x over x is equal to one. And we can also sort of prove this by looking at our table. What if I did uh, a number that's really close to zero, so 0 .00, oops, 0 0.001. Well, you can see I get 0.999. What if I get even closer, 0. 0.00001? Well, you can see here, it gets even close. Whoops, let me do that again. If I type in 0. 0.001, the y value gets really, really close to 1, 0. 0.999, a bunch of nines. If I do 0. 0.00001, the y value gets even closer. And I can get you know, even closer and closer to this. And this is really a rounding error. We know this that it's not actually equal to one. I can also come at this from the left side. And you can see that as you go come, come at zero from the left side, um, the expression gets closer and closer to one. So we do know that you're coming from the right, it approaches one. Coming from the left, it approaches one. Therefore, the limit is equal to one. And so, again, this is a, a trigonometric function that's combined with some other stuff. So it may be a little bit tricky at first, and we can certainly use a graphing calculator to help us. As always, the caveat here is 
Graphing is great to check your aurora. Graphing is great to help you sometimes, but if you rely on it too much, it becomes a crutch and it actually ends up crippling you for when, the, when you get to more difficult examples where graphing may not be the best solution. So just bear that in mind. Use your, use your technology, use your graphing calculator, but uh, don't forget to think. It is never, uh, technology is never a replacement uh, for individual thought. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Make sure you watch the rest of the videos when we talk about some more of these uh, tricky limits. Um, you should be able to look at this example, this information here, and solve this problem. It would be a good uh, challenge for you. And if not, you can always just watch the video on that.